everybody, it's Roxy from Feather Perfect Memories bringing for you today a Project Life process video and this is for week 5. Um, so I struggled so much on this layout. You are going to see how much I've struggled. Messed up, struggled and had to fix lots of things. Um, so first of all I'm going to work on this week card and because this um, layout ended up being taking me so long I've had to speed it up even quicker than I normally do so um, I apologize for the speed but I didn't want the video to be over 20 minutes so I'm just stamping on this card the dates just with my roller stamp and I'm going to be using a gossamer blue kit to use as um, embellishments on this layout so a couple reasons I struggled um, I tried to do this flip card because this blue color underneath you are going to see um just did not match this side and it was kind of um ugly it's just a screen print of the email i got saying congratulations you've reached 100 subscribers i wanted to document that but it was just really ugly so i kind of wanted to cover it up so i did this flip up pocket and then in the end did i figure out that it was on the left hand side of the page therefore you poke the journaling cards into the other side of the page protector so what had happened is now I have to adhere it to the outside of the pocket so I ruined that first card um, with the rub on I had it just did not work or something so I had to recut out that week five photo and here I'm trying to make the flip up pocket so here um, um, it just didn't work very well so I'm trying again um, and I'm just using washi tape um, to bind it all together um, and so it just says week five and I've used an acetate piece to, to go over the top and the washi tape along the top and this rub on here says every day is a fresh start and it's week five so the dates are January 30th to the 5th of February um, and I'm just trying to see if there's anything else in this kit um, that I'd like to add to this title card. Um, and I decide on some more rub-ons. This one's like a, um, a set of three gold hearts. So I just kind of cluster them together. And then I use um, a die-cut flower to go over the top of them as well. So there are several points in this layout where I just struggle. I don't know why. I just did this layout did not come easy to me. Um, and then I messed up several times. So by the end of um, doing this layout, I was very done. I was um, overdoing it and I was happy when I finally finished it. So just doing some journaling on the bottom of this card. Um, this one's from Studio Calico. And I've put a wood veneer on there that says love with an arrow and um, a tiny word sticker that says what a wonderful world. And then done journaling about my daughter drawing on her book. I've used a Caitlin Schaefer label on that photo of my daughter eating tomatoes and then did a rub on and then this next photo it's a heart that says um, me and you. And it's a photo of her fixing my toe with a spanner because she watches daddy fix things all the time. And I'm just using these love veneers that are these word um, letter veneers that spell out the word love. They're from the Gossamer Blue Kit as well. And that half circle um, too. Sorry, I've just um, put it on that photo of Ayla in her little red car with her doll, um, Daisy. Um, and just adhering down some more of those wood veneers. That one said you and me with me and my dog. And um, this half circle one with a label. So just doing a little bit of lab um, journaling there. And a lot of these cards I do some journaling directly down onto the photos. It just makes it easy. Um, and just adhering everything down with my Tombow glue. All of those wood veneers. And this is the point in time where I figure out oh my goodness this is the wrong side of the pocket so I just adhered it directly down to the outside um sorry I guess it works um and then I had to fix fix the back side of this pocket um because I ruined it um by trying to seal it so I've just covered it with some washi tape and uh, one of those arrow veneers and it says favorite 
and then going to move on to the right hand side. Um, so this was a big week. So this is a two, four, eight, four by six pockets. Um, so a lot of cards on this side, and this is going to be kind of like a um, really pretty filler card. I end up really loving this card. So I'm using a lot of these rub-ons from the kit just to sprinkle around um, this card and putting that feather die cut in the middle and this word that says shine bright like starlight and then I end up coming back later and putting on, oh no I'm doing it now, this little starwood veneer. And like I said this is a big photo heavy week so I have a lot of these um, uh, collages with four or more photos on them. They just give me a chance to still include all the photos I want to but not take up too much space even though lots of space is taken up on this um, layout. So here I'm just flipping things up so I know which side they go on and I'm adhering them down so they don't slide around in the pocket. And then when I adhered it down then it wasn't all the way across and then I couldn't get it peeled back up. Um, so I just put some washi tape down the side just to cover up the big um, co color that was uh, showing through there. Um, and so I'm just pulling out some um, embellishments for this card. There's this um, acetate piece that says family and it fit just perfectly around the photo so it didn't go over any faces or anything. And I adhered down those wood pieces that are little leaves because we're all outside so I figured it was fitting and labeled, uh, layered up some of these Caitlin Schaefer labels and did the journaling directly onto those labels. Now this next card is a filler card. So here I did it again, it didn't work. So i um, just trying to adhere them together and I'll come back and put some rub-ons on that filler card but it says, this moment makes me smile. Um, so I'm moving over to this card and uh, I used a die cut that's a heart and it's gold with another one of those little leaves and I really wanted to use that leaf because there's a photo of my daughter holding a huge collection of the leaves um, and I just put leaf collector. Here's another point in time where I mess up. I'm trying to make this a 4x6 card by cutting down that journal card that says donut you love me. Um, and I don't know how I do it, but I end up cutting it too small. And you can see, and I happened to have a second one. I don't know how. Um, so I decide to adhere down the photo first this time and then cut it to size because I have no idea what I did. I just used one of those little die cuts along the side. It's pretty colorful. Um, and I used the Donut You Love Me card because a friend of mine was sick and she requested cookies, so Ayla and I baked her cookies and sent them to her in the mail. So it's a photo of us baking cookies, um, uh, like a collage. So I thought that donut card um, worked well. I also use an acetate piece on there that says magic. Um, I'm now working on this other filler card, and I wanted to use these two uh, feathers on there. And uh, some more of those acetate pieces, and it says beauty and my tribe so I wanted to just say beauty in my tribe um, so I just used some letters from the needle and thread sticker sheet from Kaisercraft. Just using some more of these rub-ons on this journaling card I layered up some butterflies and some flowers and then put the stars in each of the corners and then this is just a huge journaling card about everything that's happened on this side of the layout. Um, so it was about going to somebody's birthday party, collecting leaves, making cookies, gardening with daddy, and catching up with friends. So it is a whole bunch of journaling. And to break it up, I used another one of those die cut strips. I think I use it about after this line of journaling um, just to kind of break it up um, into another subject because I was talking about something else and just wanted to kind of break it up so it didn't look so too like too much journaling so I liked how that turned out and that's another one of those rub-ons and it's a little flower and then I'm just trying to poke everything back in to make sure it's worked and I decide that I'm going to use some rub-ons on 
um, this card and I used some stars sprinkled all over this, gold stars sprinkled all over this just to dress it up a little bit and to bring some more of those rub-ons across this layout. And I just poke everything in. Um, I think that is it for this layout. So I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching and here is a look at both sides with the flip up. I hope you enjoyed this layout. Sorry it was um, sped up so quickly, um, but I guess you got to do what you got to do when you um, film too long because you didn't do a very good job um, of getting your layout together. So if you have any questions about anything on this layout, please leave me a question below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and then you'll be able to see all the videos I put out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye for now.